Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is uh, lecture number 20th. The name of the paper is Morphology and Syntax. The chapter is Morphology. The topic in Morphology is other morphological phenomena. And uh, the subtopic is Processes primarily related to inflection, in which we have already discussed internal change, suppletion, reduplication, and in this lecture, we'll talk about tone placement. It will be a very brief lecture, and uh, there is not much uh, in it, neither is it uh, difficult. Tone, as you know, um, tone refers to the way you say something. Sometimes, uh, if uh, your sound is a high-pitched sound, then it is called high tone. If it is low pitched sound, it is called low tone. For example, if we pronounce this word with high tone, it would be like, uh, and and the in the two uh, diacritics used are these. This diacritic, this is used for high tone, and the reversed one, this one, it is used for low tone. So this diacritic is for high tone. This is for low tone. If you pronounce this as a high tone, it would be da, and it would be da, da, da. You could see the difference. This would be wo, and this would be wo, wo, wo. So one is da, the other is da, da, da. You can see the difference. This is called uh, the difference of high tone and the difference of low tone. In some languages, <coughs> uh, this tone placement, placement means to place the tone, to place the high tone, and to place the low tone. One of the languages which is spoken in Congo, the name of a country, Kinshasa is its capital, uh, is referred to as a monobili language. And in monobili language, the past and the future contrast is given with the help of uh, tone placement. A high tone is marked by this diacritic, and a low tone is marked by this diacritic. And the high tone expresses past, while the low tone expresses future. So, da expresses past, spanked, and da expresses uh, future tense, will spank. And the same is the case with other example. I don't know how this word is pronounced in monobili, but if it is a Z pronunciation, then it will be Z, and it will be Z, 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 U, U. So you can see that uh, difference of high tone and low tone and the difference in past and the future. This means spank, this means will spank, this means uh, eat and this means will eat, and killed and will kill. So this uh, is the tone placement uh, which is a kind of or similar to inflection. And uh, the meaning is changed, the past and future tenses are marked with the help of tone placement. Skurdu me sile tone placement se murad hai awaz ka utar aur chadao. Baaz languages me awaz ki utar chadao se present past ka farak malum hota hai. Me se ek language baano bili language hai. Ye kango me boli jati hai. Kinshasa is ka capital hai. Central Africa me ye paaya jata hai. Aur past or future ka tense ka jo distinguishing mark hai wo hai tone high tone or low tone high tone past ke liye low tone future ke liye to agar is aap isko aap da padhte hain to ye high tone hoga to ye past spanked meaning dega aur agar isko da padhte hain to ye low tone hoga aur ye will speak uh, high tone ke liye ye nishan istemal hota hai aur low tone ke liye iska ye ulat sa nishan hai 
ये इस्तेमाल होता है तो इसी तरीके से ये अल्फाज हैं वो और वो 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 दोनों में थोड़ा सा फर्क है एक हाई टोन कहलाता है और या राइजिंग टोन भी जिसको कहते हैं और एक लो टोन कहलाता है इसको हम पढ़ेंगे इन मानो बिली स्पोकन इन कांगो मानो बिली जो कांगो में बोला जाता है ये जबान जो कांगो में बोली जाती है टोन इज यूज टू मेक द डिस्टिंगशन टोन इस्तेमाल करते हैं फर्क बताने के लिए बिटवीन पास्ट एंड फ्यूचर टेंस में ए हाई टोन इज मार्क बाई दिस डायक्रेटिक एंड लो टोन इज एंड लो टोन बाय दिस डायक्रेटिक और ये उसके अल्फाज हैं और ये इसकी एग्जाम्पल हैं थैंक यू एंड गुड लक